to get back to my drawing here. And uh, it's been, uh, well, it's been a little while since I was last on this. I'm getting close to finishing, so I got to get going here. Uh, my client, I know, is eagerly waiting for this. So let me just adjust my uh, camera here so that uh, you guys can get a good view of what I'm doing. Now, here what I'm going to do is focus on the, um, the beard itself first. This uh, area right here. Right there. Okay, so right off. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start taking out some more of those those white hairs using this low tack uh, frisket film here. I'm going to have to uh, arrange my things here so that I can put my my hand in here. Okay. Once again, of course, I'm. Um, Doing things in real time. Now I've laid down some light um, charcoal or graphite. I, I'm not quite sure. I think it's this charcoal here. Either one is fine because it's just the base. And I'm just going to lay down some white hairs using my frisket tape and just kind of make these hairs kind of randomly go off in different directions and so forth. Now as I do this I still want to kind of keep my eye on the reference. I don't want to just kind of start going into a daydream which happens from time to time because of repetitive tasks. But I, I want to just make sure that I'm getting the shapes right, you know the angle of the beard and all that stuff and any minor details. One of the nice things about walking away from the drawing for several days at a time is that I get to look at it with fresh eyes and it really does uh, help because then I'm able to spot things that I didn't see before and this way I get to deal with those issues. When I get into this area here, I, I have this dark, this dark area right there, and I, I notice that I have this dark area down to here, and then it lightens up right here. So I have to make sure that I mimic that. So in this case, right in this area right here, up needs to be a lot lighter. So I'm really going to uh, get in there and start taking up some of that darkness because it shouldn't be there at all. That means it affords me the opportunity to just put a whole lot more white hairs in there than I would have normally. See, because now I can lighten that area up really, really good. Take advantage of that dark background to make my white hair show up. All right, that looks pretty good. I'm going to go in here and just keep doing Now you notice that this frisket tape has been pretty well used up. Okay, you can see the little dark lines on here where it has already picked up stuff. And I like to go over it because what happens is it will randomly uh, lighten and darken within the hairs themselves because it will pick up where there is no dark line on my frisket and where there is the, the lines, it will be a lot lighter in, in its ability to, to pick up. All right, so look, looking at this now, I can see just, I'm gonna do a few more here. Make sure I get all, keep looking at my my reference, making sure everything looks the same. Okay, so the darkness to about right here. So I'm going to have to come back in here with some more dark pencil. But I want to make sure that I get this part in there. 
okay some some white lines is going to scraggle into the dark area here I'll make sure I get that okay uh, a couple of few of them right here let's get those in there oh, that looks good and then maybe a few light ones here I'll tone them down in a moment because they got to be in shadow and these look really bright but let me get them in here first and then then I'll just tone them down all right so the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to tone down those last few I'll just use this uh, paper blender thing and just go in here and just lightly tone those down all right because they're in shadow okay and let's see this all needs to be brighter let me get back in here and all right that looks pretty good there okay too bright I'm gonna just and I'm just barely just hardly at all putting any pressure on this blender I just want to tone that brightness down just a little bit and let's see yeah I was gonna look for a q-tip here just uh, give it a little smoother Or even look to it oh, there we go I like that that looks pretty good to me all right and let's see a few more just barely just barely some some light hairs right in that area right there just want to get those in there. A few of them here. There's be one right there. Okay, and then there's one right there. And then maybe just a little bit right there. And then maybe a little right there. Just, just a hint, a hint, hint, because it's all in darkness right there. See. But you, you know, you want to give it the impression that there's hairs there instead of just being a, a dark area. See, so. Yeah, look at that. Okay, and then I'm going to just tone that down just ever so lightly. I don't want it to disappear completely, but it is in shadow. It's in a dark area, so let's just tone that down just a little bit, okay? And again, a little more here. Okay, just want to... This whole area right here needs to be darker. I'm going to have to go in there with a dark pencil, maybe a charcoal pencil like this one here. Just make sure that I get that, that dark in there. You know, I want my client to be real happy with this drawing here. So, of course, I want to be real happy with this drawing, you know, so very, very important. So, this whole area here, I want to get that dark under the mouth there and course going up the lip upper lip is nice and dark right there so we got to get that in there yeah that looks pretty good okay we get that darkness there there okay we're just going to stand back for a second here and make sure everything looks right okay so there's a slight if you can you can see here I'm going to try to show it to you um, if you look right above the lip do you see the lightness how it's a little lighter right 
there. So I want to do that with this lip here. So I'm going to use this frisket again. Or I could use an eraser, that's fine. But I'm just going to use the frisket. I could see through the frisket, which is really nice. And I'm just going to lighten that area up a little bit. Okay, just right in that area there. It's kind of broken up, which is what I want. And then out into the light, okay. And just barely, just barely right there. Let me find an empty area on my tape here that I could use. Okay, and all right, now I'm going to have to tone that down. Because that's way, way, way too bright, see? So, just going to lightly tap with my paper blender here. Yeah. There we go. And I'm liking that. Alright. So that looks good. A little darker here. Just a little darker. ever so lightly the details you know you just you just lightly so gentle okay I'm gonna use my little stick eraser here my Tombow Mono Zero just do some minor I'm you know I'm first off I'm just gonna kinda of tap on it a little bit with maybe a little bit of a rub but not much just to see if I can be very selective on what I pick up here Looking at my reference, I want to want to make sure that I that I mimic what I see there. It may be hit and miss, but we'll see. All right, that looks pretty good like that. Hmm. Okay, I think we'll tap that down a little bit more. Looks like this dark area goes up a little bit, so let me see if I can... Okay, I noticed what my blender is doing is it's actually taking the charcoal off the paper. So I'm going to stop with that for a moment. And I'm going to take my 9XXB here. And see if I can get a little bit more detail going here. See if it will afford me the opportunity to... Let's see, that's just slightly left of that... The nostril there. So let me get in here like so. Okay. See if that mustache comes down to here, and then you only want a small amount of that white area up there, that light area. That means my shadow needs to be darker, so I'm going to go up a little higher on that, and even higher here. All right, there we go. Okay, and then just ever so slightly tone that down. And then there is this really, really faint, really faint, um, like the lip has the little creases in the lip. And so it's just so hard to see, but I have to kind of make it look just as present here so let's see if I can do that okay so I'm going to make it obvious first okay just a couple looks like couples I can only see a couple of them okay 
There, and then I'm going to tap it down so that it can't be seen unless you're really looking for it. Okay, again, I'm going to have to go in there with a dark pencil. Let's go back with my charcoal here and just I think I've got that all the way to there. I'm pretty sure that that should be lighter here, so I want to bring that lighter there. Okay, there we go. All right. Okay, and then this right here in between should be darker. course coming out of the mouth should be also not as dark but let's see there and then you know I'm going to use this cotton swab to lighten the area up just a little bit in here all right let's see where I am in the scheme of things here That's darker there. Okay. See if this extra hard is going to help me out at all. Sometimes it doesn't. Not for this kind of thing, anyway. And it's not. Man, I didn't think it would. So let me show you 9XXB perhaps. Get in there. Let's see. Maybe, maybe not. Let's hopefully. Okay, you don't want any bright lines in here, that's for sure. I gotta tone those down. Alright. So I think that looks pretty good. I'll have to walk away from it uh, after today's session and then come back and see how it looks. But I think I've got what I'm looking for, hopefully. Okay, a little lighter there. It's Mono Zero is what I'm using here. All right, so. That looks good. Anyway, back to the beard again. All right, so in between certain areas here, I think I'm going to use the 9XXB for this with a nice point. And what I want to do is in some areas especially is, is get in there with some dark shadows in between the white hairs that I had just produced and to give it a little bit of depth. Okay. And to show that it's just not all white hairs, of course. So I'm looking for some of these white hairs that have areas where I could darken the shadow areas a little bit. You just, you get right down, right down inside there, you see. And you just give it some depth. Okay, you just give it some depth. Whenever you darken deep, deep inside the areas there that's not with the white lines. And it just brings it out. So that's what I'm doing here right now. Is I'm getting in there and uh, finding the areas that I can get in there. Lots of opportunity to get in there and really make this thing pop, you see. I want to I want to get a sharper point on this thing. So let me just uh, take
take care of that real quick. I guess that's a, as much point as it's going to give me. I'm just going to get right in there. Now remember, you got to be looking at your reference photo constantly, constantly. Okay, so I can see that in my image here that I should have a lot more dark going on inside here. So I'm going to keep on going till I achieve somewhere close to it and then I'm going to start taking some white hairs off again give it more depth and then doing the same process over again so you'll be watching me do that I assume so we got some very thin very thin dark marks here so I might as well get them in there You know, don't worry about drawing your dark areas over any of the whites that you had already lifted off because you're going to go back again and take, take those highlights out again to draw those white hairs. And uh, that's going to give it that depth because you're going to overlap. So just get in there and do it and... You'll see, you'll see as you keep going that it, the hair just looks so much natural and in areas where you, you know, you may, you may have doubled up on, on some of these white lines that uh, the hair looks, the white hair might look a little thick, you know, and this gives you an opportunity to thin it out also so that's another good thing too I see little black hair going like this or that and you know even though I'm not going to draw individual hair sometimes I will mimic something that that I see on here just so that it gives that impression that I captured every single detail when in fact um, most of what I've done is random, but it's all an illusion, you know, and it's all you care about, you know. So let me get some of those in there. Just nicely darkening that up. See here, there's some areas here where I can go in there and
really happy with how that's coming out. That's really, really looking pretty good. Let's see here. I need some more white lines over up here. So I'll get back to that in a moment. And... Get some dark in there. You know, when you put a dark mark next to a light mark, <clears throat> you'd be amazed at just how realistic that looks, you know, that bringing out that hair. But it, what it looks like is the hair itself has a dark side and a light side from the light hitting it in this direction. So if you just kind of find these little white lines and you just make a dark line right to the right of it, um, then it has that awesome illusion of that you have this white hair or this hair that's not really white, but it's just being hit by all this light. And uh, it's really cool. Now, if I get like, I get to the point sometimes where, you know, like there, this area right here, I made it a little too dark, this little line here, the shadow area here. So now that I put these little dark lines in here, okay, and I might take my Q-tip just, just to take some of the edge off, barely, barely touching, okay. So nothing is real, real pronounced. Then I'm going to come back in with my little thingamajiggy here. And now I'm going to start going over areas that I want to lighten up again. So let's see. So like right here. And right down here. I think I'm ready for another piece of my frisket. So let's see. Ah, have it right over here. I got this sheet, see, and I'm going to uh, cut it. So I'm going to cut this like so. Okay. Put that away. And then you're going to take it and uh, you're going to peel that paper backing off of it. There we go. See? Like that. Okay. And now I could use this. I kind of hold it kind of in a folded way like this and then I'm going to take my little stylus thing which I'm not sure what this thing is called I want the let's see the smallest points right there and then I'm just going to come in here now and, and I can see what I'm doing and find the areas that need lighting up Okay, I see I have some white hairs that should be going in here, so I'm going to see if I can get those in there. Depending on how thick the charcoal is in here, I have to go over a couple of times. There we go. <clears throat> 
See, like for example, I see there's a little white hair here, little white hair here and here. These little minor details like these individual hairs in this dark area right here, I'm going to try to mimic that because then, you know, while you're not looking at individual hairs per se when you're looking at the picture, it just really helps with the realism. So like there's that one, then there was one right there. And it's not hard to do, you just have to be patient and say, you know, I'm going to do it. I'm going to come in and lighten that one a little bit and thin it out. Then there's one right there. Okay, that didn't come out right. I'm going to have to fix it. And there's a hair that goes curls around like so. I'm going to have to fix that one too. No biggie. Uh, let's see, there's a hair here. One like that and one like that. And I'm not going to go for perfect, but I'm going to get close. Okay, and then there's that one there. And that one there. Okay, so what do I have here? I'm going to have one up here. I'm going to get that one there because that's an obvious. And then this is an obvious. Yeah. Yeah, see, I'm mimicking, mimicking that thing right there. And then there was one right to the left of that. Nice. It looks like I'm drawing the exact same thing, even though it is slightly different. Because you can't, you don't have that much time in your life to get every single hair exact. I mean, it just isn't going to happen. Okay. But you want to make it look like you did, even if you didn't hope that makes sense all right so okay all right good now I'm going to take my 9xxb here and I'm going to correct some of the things that I did that I don't I didn't like. Like this line here. I'm going to thin that out like that. And there. Perfect. And let's see, there was another one right here. This big thick white line. It really needs to be a thin one. So I'm going to just barely go next to it and thin it out. Now it is a thin white line. So that's perfect. And this is a little too bright. I'm going to knock that down just a little bit and thin it. That looks good. And this one here, it's dark in the beginning and then lightens near the tip. And it's thinner, so I'm going to do that right there. Perfect. All right, just these minor little things. You want to get them in there. Oh, I'm not done yet. So I need to get my thing here. And this area right here... I'm going to lighten this up right through here. So here we're going to go through again and just do all this little silliness going through here and lighting it up because I darkened it. And then I'm going to light it again. Okay. Some of it goes right into the hair. So we're going to let the whiskers show through the hair there, which is cool. Gives it that realism. So you're going to get it to go right into the hair shadow area right there. And I'll do more when I get the neck going. Like beside the ear. Some more. This is an area where it's really, really a lot of light hitting it. So make sure I get that in there comes out to there. Okay. And this area is slightly just a little bit. Need to lighten that just a little bit. Okay. And then this area right here. Just just a little. Not much. Just a little. Just so this zone right here. I got this gotta be wider. 
Okay, this zone right here is a mild shade darker than right here and right here. This is what I want. This is what I got. Okay. So that really looks closer to what I see here. I do see that there are a few dark spots that I want to add. So there's one here. Let me sharpen this pencil again. Okay, I want that one in there, then maybe one right there. And maybe one right there. Let's see, there was, there's something right, right here, and right there. Okay, and then, let's see, how about if I put one right there. Oh, that's cool. All right, and uh, let's see, how about right there? And there we go. Okay, so I got this corridor thing going here. Um, just so that you can try to see that. Okay, I'm not sure. Let me get this thing off my hand. Here we go. Okay, if you look here, you'll see that I have this area right here. It's really light. And then this area here is light. So this, you, you have this zone right here. That's mildly darker, just mildly darker than here and here. So I want to duplicate that as you can see that this is mildly darker than here and here. And that's what I'm, I'm projecting here. All right. Okay, now make sure that I... Because I don't want to get use the 9x6b for over here for the background because it's really in a highlighted area. I need a very soft, not soft, but I mean a very soft tone. But to use a hard pencil, and I'm going to use graphite. Here's a 4h. Let's see if I can, you know, achieve what I want. Yes, that 4h will work fine. Now I'm just going to kind of get in there between the white hairs. And see if I can give a little depth, depth without darkening this area too much. Because I want it to stay like, um, like it's being hit by the light. Okay. So this is graphite here that I'm using a 4H pencil. Ever so light. Just getting in there. Making sure that those hairs has a little bit of depth to it. Wow, that's really cool. I like that. Not sure if you can see it in the camera. Uh, it's kind of unfortunate if, if you can't. Just kind of that's that's how it goes sometimes. All right, there we go. Uh, here's some. Just getting in between the white hairs. I'm not covering the white hairs themselves. All right. Now that's giving it a little more depth. I don't know what this is. I'm going to have to correct that. There we go. All right. Let's see, how does that look? Moving my eyes back and forth, back and forth, trying to catch anything that uh, I think needs a little more attention. I'm thinking it's starting to look pretty good. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, what I do notice <coughs> is I have this really dark area here. But the image does seem to have some light hairs going through it that you can actually see right here. Let's see if you can see that. As opposed to this, <clears throat> I do want to bring those out a little more. I'm going to use my uh, 
Tombow, but it needs a sharper point. So I'm going to put a point on it using my sandpaper here. Or not a point, but more of a, a, a wedge, you know, a sharp edge. Okay, now let's see if you can see that. Um, okay, can you see that? I kind of put a sharp edge on that, okay. And I'm just going to casually move in the direction of the hairs. And I'm hoping that I'll be able to give it that impression. Oh, it's, yeah, it's working. Working, good, all right. You know, try to experiment if you're not sure of something, but look at that. Woo, yes, 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 I'm happy, I'm happy. I'm a happy dude, all right, okay. So that came out great. I don't know if you can see that. Let's see, bring it up here. Uh, but can you see that? You can see very lightly the hairs coming down, but it's still in a dark area, see? Perfect. All right, let me bring it back out again. All right, so let's see. I got a few stragglers of white hair here. So I'm just gonna kinda go out here like so using the wedge shape of this eraser okay just make sure I got all this going good this is a little lighter here a little lighter there okay and up here, just a little lighten up here. Get this shape just right. Because this area here should be lower than this area right there. Okay. All right. I think I like that. All right. That looks pretty good. So anyway, there is... Kind of a rounding here that I want to. This I've been looking at this from time to time, going, you know, I need to get to that, and I never do. But let me just give that a little more, like that. I know that has a little more rounding to it. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, this is not an eyebrow video. This is to complete this beard. And I think I've done it pretty good on that. Um, I may come back, or I'll likely will come back and, and do some more on it later. But uh, I think I got that pretty well to make myself a happy camper. Let's see. Okay. Get a little lighter here. Hmm. Lighter here. Okay. Okay, I don't like what I just did. That was a that was a no no easy to erase that just move the charcoal around a little bit and it's all gone easy fix anyway um i'm i'm leaning i'm leaning back right now kind of looking at the overall big picture here and just spotting things that i really would like to have show up I'm going to use my little tape thing again because it gives me a much better control. And I think, uh, I think I want a little bit of right there. And then there's like a little bit right there. And then there's that one right there and right there. And there's one that curls like that. And then one that curls the opposite direction right there. One that uh, goes beside it but a little lower right there. Oh, it actually was pretty close. And 
Yeah, just even off on the ends here a little bit. Okay. Yeah, you wanted one right there. You got it. All you got to do is ask. There it is. Oh, and there's one that goes straight across like that. Another one like here. Here. I already see the one right there, but I'll put it in again. And there's one that goes like that. I'm going to put that in right there. <laughs> it's the same thing. How cool. All right. And there's a little white hair that goes this way. So why not? Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, this one goes straight across like... Oh, that didn't even show up. Okay, I'm going to have to thin that one out. But that's the one I want. Just go right next to it. Go like that. Thin it out. Okay, so... I think it's good for now. I noticed that this kind of comes out a little bit here, whereas in the reference it's not so rounded, it's more straight. So what I have to do actually is I have to take my dark pencil here, sharpen it, okay, and just bring the shadow of the hair in a little bit to straighten out the neck to make it look more like the reference and well that didn't take any effort at all look at that straighten that thing up immediately all right great and in my next video i'm going to start working on the lower half of this drawing uh starting with the the neck area here which you can see is, is a very light shade here and very dark here. So I'll start off perhaps with a 4H and using a very light circular motion like this so that it's not as white as the paper but it is uh, a light enough tone so that you, it, it is, there is something there. And then I will compare it, and if necessary, I will uh, darken it up. But as you can see, at least I hope you can see, that uh, it gives it a nice light skin tone. And I'm going to do just a little bit before I conclude this video. Just a little bit. Whet your appetite for the next video. It's just, you know, relax, be patient. Walk away from it, which is what I'm going to do. And see if the tone is right. I may have to go over it with a darker pencil. But I start off really light with the 4H just to get it going. Nice little circular movements, little oval circular movements. It allows me to keep the... The tone level without too much blotching and gives it some texture which is great for the skin there you go folks uh, drawing the the light side of the beard there okay there you go there's the beard on the light side we still do some work on the dark side. I don't want it to, to actually show too much strokes, which it does right now. So I'll end up, and I can tell you, I'll just end up doing this and then going over it again. And uh, you won't see, actually won't be able to see these strokes because it's so dark in the shadows that they shouldn't show up at all. Okay. If you look at the reference, see, you don't see hardly anything. All right. So there you go. All right. So if you like this video, woo, please give me a thumbs up. Really appreciate it. it. helps my videos move up to the recommended 
Subscribe if you haven't done so already. Click the notification bell and I'll see you in the next part of this video.